you mentioned earlier that a lot of lawyers won't handle these types of cases. Talk to our viewers just a little bit about that because uh, what you do is nonprofit. It is. Okay. And, and how do you get your support? How do you, how do you, if people aren't paying for your services, how are you funded? Is it just people in the community that uh, come together and help for these types of services? Is it gov the government that helps pay for these types of things? How, how does this work? How, how can somebody get these types of services when nobody else will help them? There is the Legal Services Corporation, mm -hmm. which is in Washington, D.C., and we get the majority of our, we operate off grants. So our largest grant funder is the National Legal Services Corporation. The rest of the funds is left for us to raise those funds. Uh -huh. So you're absolutely correct. Um, we get help from community organizations. We have uh, funds to handle uh, senior problems and elder law program. Mm -hmm. We have funds to handle estate planning um, and those are paid for by a municipality uh, to help with the blight in the community and make sure that air properties and properties do not go into disrepair, especially if cities are putting money into those programs. So yes, we're in the community all the time trying to find ways to work with the community to help because the state of Alabama does not give us any funds at okay. all. So we get nothing from our own state. And so how does one qualify for these, these types of services? Because if they don't qualify, then they're going to have to get a private attorney, right? If they, if they don't qualify for our services, yes, they will have to seek um, other services. Um, they qualify with the same qualification criteria that's used for any other needs program. Mm -hmm. So it's according to the poverty level that is established by the federal government. So that's the same type of uh, income level that the public benefits are based on. But we do have some higher income levels also because some of our grantors may not want to just represent one segment or the poverty level individuals like seniors. Uh, people who are sponsoring the senior program do not want any type of um, income level attached to their grant at all. So our, we offer an array of services and an array of benefits attached.